I'm going to try to explain calculus in like five minutes. Um, hopefully, you know, let's see here, you've heard of the term slope before. You know a little bit about x, y graphs. We have a straight line. The slope is the rise over the run. Look at this little line here. Pick these two points. Let's see. The rise is goes four from one to four. That's a rise of three. And the run is from five to ten. That's five. Rise over the run is three fifths. Uh, if that line slopes downward, you get a negative slope. If it's totally flat or horizontal, it's a slope of zero. And if it's perfectly vertical, Either say it's a slope of infinity or say it's undefined. Anyway, that's what the slope is, right? Now let's talk area. Area under a straight line again. Um, so somebody gives you this straight line, and by the way, the straight line has an equation. This one happens to be y equals x divided by 2 plus two. Area between two x values, say between a and b, in this case, it looks like between two and five. The area would be this trapezoid. Uh, you can calculate it a couple ways, I guess. Uh, it's the area of this rectangle plus the area of this triangle. You know those formulas. Anyway, you get a number. So we can calculate slope and area for straight lines, right? It's pretty straightforward. Now let's move to functions or curves that aren't straight. Um, here's a constant. And by the way, we say f of x. For any value of x, f is the function. You plug in an x, you get an output. Like if, say this is it, f of x is x squared. So if x is one, f of x are the y value along the y axis is one. If x is two, it's four, more up here, and this is the curve of a whole bunch of x's. And here's just some other functions. The only kind of unique thing in the definition is for each value of x, you get only one value of f of x or y. Here's what calculus is. First, there's a couple of different kinds of calculus. Differential calculus is calculating the slope of a curve or a function. It's no longer a straight line. What is the slope of a function at a particular value of x? That's how you go about doing that is called differential calculus. And integral calculus, the other kind of calculus, is how do you find the area under a curve? Not the area under a straight line, but the area under some function or curve between two particular points. Here it looks like between x equals two and x equals four. How do you find this area, this in-between area? Those two things are what calculus is all about. It's finding slope and it's finding areas. That's all there is in that big thing you might have on calculus. So how does calculus go about finding that slope? Well, say you want the slope at this point here, you could say approximate the slope by picking another point out here, say at four, and there's a straight line between them. So if you know this function, you could exactly calculate that slope. And then what you do, you take the limit as the distance between those two x's approaches zero. You do this special thing called taking the limit. How do you find the area? Well, if I want the area under this curve or this function, I can break it up into a bunch of little trapezoids, each of width or having a base of a delta x. And then I add all these trapezoids up, the area of each trapezoid, I add them all up to get the total area. That would approximate the area. And then I do that special thing again, taking the limit 
as that little delta x approaches zero. It's all about the limits. And that's why your calculus book is thick. Um, it, it's kind of deep. You're going to have definitions and theorems and axioms and uh, proofs. And I'm just going to say that's why you take a whole course in this thing. Or at least it's going to take a longer video. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm just introducing to you what calculus is. And here's the spoiler alert. I said there's kind of two kinds of calculus. It turns out it's all kind of one thing. There's this theorem called the fundamental theorem of calculus. There's the two different operations. The thing you do in differential calculus, we call it taking a derivative. And the thing you do in integral calculus, you call it taking an integral or integrating. That's the finding the area part. Taking a derivative is finding the slope. Well, they, those two operations turn out to be the inverse of each other. That is, if you take a derivative of a function or a curve and then integrate that result, you get back the original function. Vice versa, if you integrated a function and then took the derivative of that result, you get back the original function. That's why it's kind of all one calculus. Um, and that's it. That is my introduction to calculus. I got it done in a little over five minutes. Bye-bye.